Good day. Over one and a half years ago, while making the Toad Tadpole Aquarium, I asked you if you would be interested in seeing a stickleback aquarium. I also caught a stickleback. I threw it back because I don't have anywhere to put it now, but let me know if you'd be interested in a stickleback aquarium. And you guys said yes. Your comments are always so nice by the way, you guys are the best. Every summer I feel a strange urge to set up a stickleback aquarium. The problem is that in the Netherlands it gets way too hot inside in the summer and air conditioning isn't really a thing here. I haven't really found a way to reliably cool a small aquarium for a few months, not without spending hundreds of dollars. With that being said, something recently happened, which I will share with you. My documentation for this story isn't great, because I wasn't planning to make a video about it at first. This summer I set up an aquarium on my roof terrace with some tadpoles. I caught a few sticklebacks as well to see how it would work out. But after a few days, I didn't see them anymore and I felt bad because I thought they had died. When the tadpoles weren't tadpoles anymore, I didn't clean up the aquarium because, well, because I didn't feel like it. Then I pretty much forgot about it for the next few months. Until a few weeks ago when I had to get rid of it, otherwise the freezing cold would have destroyed it. I had gotten rid of most of the plants algae and water when I suddenly saw something flopping around. Upon closer inspection it turned out to be a stickleback. I figured there must have been only one left that somehow survived for months in the neglected aquarium outside. I didn't really know what to do, so I put it in a little tub. Well, I soon found not one, two, three, nor four or even five, but six sticklebacks alive and well in the aquarium. In fact, they were quite large and looking very healthy. They were much bigger now than when I caught them so they must have had a good time in there, somehow. This finding caught me quite by surprise, but I decided to take some soil and plants from this aquarium and set up a small temporary tank to enjoy these fish for a few weeks. These are 9 spined sticklebacks. Fun fact, these little fish can display homosexuality, kind of. Anyway, I put them in this little aquarium, to which I added some water cabbage as well. The reason I'll only keep them for a few weeks is that this aquarium is too small for these fish to live long term and definitely to breed in. I also won't be able to catch these fish live food when the ponds freeze over and these little fish eat a lot. It's really bizarre just how quickly they eat tons of food. Maybe I'll be able to make a proper setup for sticklebacks in which they might even breed. But for now, this is just a little winter project. I do really enjoy watching these tiny fish swimming around on the windowsill. They are closely related to seahorses and sea needles, the latter of which I actually kept in an aquarium as well. They're pretty unique looking, quite different from a lot of other freshwater fish. It's also the smallest freshwater fish native to the Netherlands. To feed these guys, I go to a nearby pond with a net and catch a lot of small crustaceans like Daphnia and copepods. There's a few water mice and back swimmers in there as well. Sticklebacks are predatory fish and they love these feeding frenzies.
They're incredibly fast, so let's take a look at them in slow-mo. Why not also use this opportunity to look at small crustaceans in slow-mo as well? It's been a while. Small update before I end this video, I swapped the water lettuce for some water weeds, a plant that is way better suited for a stickleback aquarium. At least for this species, because the nine spine stickleback likes to make nests inside of plants like these. Something I'll hopefully be able to see for myself and share with you guys at some point in the future. Not in this tank though. I'll release these fish shortly after posting this video. Well that pretty much wraps it up. This was just a short little video of an improvised side project. I hope you enjoyed it. I promise the gap between this video and the next will be much shorter than the gap between this and the previous video. There's a lot of videos in the making. Thank you very much for watching and good good.